Hey everyone, I am here today to share with you this vintage travel journal that I made for my really sweet friend Scotty. Um, you all remember Scotty gifted me that beautiful Pete's Coffee journal and um, so I wanted to make her something special and she's been doing a lot of traveling lately. So I thought I would make her a little uh, envelope vintage travel themed journal. So. I'm going to jump right in and get started. Um, this cover and closure is inspired by Ruth and she is Ruth's Inkwell here on YouTube. Um, I will put a link to Ruth's channel in my description box. Uh, she, Ruth joined my Travel Swap uh, Junk Journal Junkies last year and made this beautiful smaller envelope travel journal. Um, her cover was different. She had a different um, like background. I think she put the post -it, the um, washi tape like this on hers. I can't really remember. I do know she had this closure. So thank you, Ruth, for the inspiration. Um, this is an envelope, you guys. Fold it in half. Um, this is tissue paper that I got at Joanne Fabric um, earlier in this year, I think it was. So I used that Mod Podge, the cover. Uh, one signature added the postal washi and I used collage podge not this one I used the mat I love this this is great it doesn't have that sticky feeling afterwards like Mod Podge so this is just some elastic that I got at Hobby Lobby and then I um, sewed it by hand here to you know because it's too hard on the sewing machine so I just did it by hand um, it's kind of chunky Probably once Scotty fills it up, she'll have to um, just have it like this. Oh, and the cover. This stamp set is from Simon Says Stamp. I uh, can't remember the name of it, but if I find it, I will link in my link it in my description box. But it's like Scrabble tiles. So what I did was I did Scotty's Travels on the front, and I glossy accented the top. And then um, use glossy accents to adhere it to the cover. So, um, yeah, I really love how it turned out. I coffee dyed everything. It's heavily coffee dyed. So, on the inside, I just added this uh, craft paper bag. I folded it at the bottom, made a little pocket, a couple tags, uh, did stamping throughout. This is a uh, coffee dyed index card. These are some airmail envelopes that I got at the post office in Canada. And I just stamped priority. This is a stamp I got at Tuesday morning. I just stamped that and cut it out. It's the happiness card. Just some airmail stickers. The papers came from a couple different pads, but it's the the cheap pad from my uh, Walmart that you get for five dollars um, I can't remember the name of it but yeah it's just five dollars a pad and the images were really nice these little cards you'll see throughout and I got those from Connie thank you Connie she gifted me a bunch of those little cards they're really cute uh, I just stamped right there Like I said, everything is coffee stained. Little uh, airmail envelope. I don't know if I have anything in there, but she can put stuff in there. Again, that's from Connie. Just some different little tags that I had. I put in some of these photo pockets. Um, the little plastic sleeves that I got at Walmart, I scored on those, like 30 cents a pack. This is the washi I got at the Scrapbook Expo. I put some washi along the edges of some of the papers, just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. This is some tracing paper. Uh, I coffee dyed a coin envelope. And then I just added a little closure and then I have a little card on the inside. And I love the stamp set, or the stamp, sorry. It is from Impression Obsession. 
and I want to thank Christy Biggs for Twins For Me. <laughs> Christy. She showed that in one of her hauls. Of course, I had to run over and get it. Um, this is just the paper sack because I'm a copycat like that. <laughs> I'm a sucker for travel stamps. What can I say? This is Weekly Time Record. I didn't have coffee stain this one. I just left it as is. I love that stamp set. If you guys want to know any of the stamps, just leave me a comment. This middle of the signature. There's lots of rooms to journal. Tons of room to journal. Project life card. More spots for journaling. This is a Molly H record. I made this little tag, added some airmail baker's twine. Just some extra ledger paper, a graph paper, an old vintage postcard. Um, this is another clear pocket. She can add photos to that and stick it wherever she wants through it, her journal. This is another Project Life card. This is a coffee stained um, glassine bag. And then just index card and then a tag. I stamped that on the um, Project Life card. This is just some um, page. I don't know if it's Japanese or Chinese, but it's um, copy dyed as well. Those are those little um, canvas pieces that you could have, well, that you would have gotten at Target like last year. Not Target, um, Michaels. So I would still have a ton of those left, so I added some of those. This is from the Typecast. Um, they had a huge sale on it, so I got a couple of the little pads of this. Another little plastic pocket. Added a sticker there. Um, another one of the canvas tags from Michaels. Here I put a Project Life, or I this one. Uh, we are memory keepers. And she can journal. Add a photo underneath, whatnot. Um, just a couple little tags in this pocket. And then just my little note to her. And um, this book belongs to. I always put that there. It's like in my journals. And then I added some just extra goodies. Um, just in case she needs it. And so I just put that in the pocket. And that is Scotty's journal. I am sending this off to her today. I hope she likes it. Um, again, everyone, thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Um, I have another video coming up. It's of a journal that I received. Uh, a few months back and another journal that I just received recently as a gift. So I will be videotaping those. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. Bye everyone!